Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12, Psalms chapter 5 verse 3, and Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 12. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this word. Thank you for your many promises. Thank you for always keeping your promises. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Hebrews chapter eight, verse 12. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities and I will remember their sins no more. All right, and so God is wanting us to always be turned back towards him. He doesn't like it when, you know, his children are in a position where they are going away from him, right? He wants us to always be analyzing our walk to see if we are turned towards him or or if we're turned away from him. And so when we turn towards him, he so quickly relents when our heart is truly sincere and it is it is being led by his spirit, um, then he is so quick and merciful towards us in our, in our turning back towards him. It says, for I will be merciful toward their iniquities and I will remember their sins no more. So merciful toward their sins, right? Um, he's not going to give us as we deserve. He's going to, um, hold back wrath from us. Merciful. It says, and I will remember their sins sins no more. So he's going to just completely wipe out the sin. Why? Because you are, when you turn back from that sin, you are in, in alignment back with Christ, right? You are listening for his spirit. You are desiring him and you're desiring his ways. You're hating the things he hates. You're loving the things he loves, right? All of that comes just by turning to him. Why? Because our righteousness doesn't come from how good our performance is. Our righteousness comes from Christ's covering right and and when we repent and we begin to relent and turn back and walk towards Christ then we're coming back under the covering so we come back into that that perfection into that alignment with Christ right not by our own doing but by our our repenting and and getting back in alignment with his righteousness amen so it says, for I will be merciful toward their iniquities and I will remember their sins no more. And so the second verse that the Lord gave me was Psalms chapter five, verse three. Oh Lord, in the morning, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare sacrifice, a sacrifice for you and watch. Wow. Okay. And so this is David in a time where he is struggling. He is going through, he's got some issues going on and and instead of you know wallowing in it and talking about past sin and doing all the things he is sacrificing right for them it was preparing a sacrifice like maybe a burnt offering or a goat or ram but for us God wants us right as that sacrifice he wants our our laying down of ourselves on that altar right a, a daily uh laying down of our lives right a living sacrifice right and so um he he wants that from us and here david is doing a, a version of that and and he is watching right? He is watching because he knows the Lord rewards faithfulness. He knows the Lord rewards those who diligently seek him. He knows that the Lord is, is merciful towards our iniquities, right? When we turn to him and we relent and we're going back to him, it, that is the equivalent for David as repentance when he prepares a sacrifice. Um, You know, he, God quickly comes, right? He, he quickly hears our cry and, and he He's not going to turn away from us repenting. He's not going to say, oh, you repented last time. I don't believe you, right? No, he he understands our hearts. He understands sincerity. He understands and hears us when we are truly crying out to him and repenting and coming back into alignment with him, right? 
So, and it doesn't take a whole bunch. It just takes uh, the Holy Spirit getting involved, right? The Holy Spirit has to lead us and guide us into all truth. And that's even in our repentance, how to be sincere as we repent and, and come back into alignment with the Father, all right, and with Christ. All right, so let me go to the third verse. The third verse is Jeremiah 18, 12. But they say, that is in vain. We will follow our own plans and will everyone act according to the stubbornness of his evil heart. Wow, so this is Jeremiah and he's basically talking about those two things in in Jeremiah chapter 18. He's talking about God seeing the sins of the people ready to pour out the wrath. And then he wants the people to turn back to him. Right. And he's going to relent. And, but instead of, of the people turning back to God, instead of the people doing the will of the father, they're speaking in stubborn hearts and evilness and speaking back to God and saying, but they say that is in vain. How, how what? Right. God is telling them to repent. And they're saying that it's in vain. Right. It says we will follow our own plans, meaning they're going to follow their own gods. They're going to follow um, their own ideas of who they should align themselves with or ally themselves with kingdom wise and who they should go to and who they should become about baffle nation of and all these things to try to solve these problems that God has allowed because they are not repentant toward him and their hearts are not turned towards him. We need to turn our hearts towards him. Don't think that your way is better. Don't think that your answer to this situation is better. Turn to God. Turn to God. Even in the small things, turn to God, right? If God is saying, hey, I need you to cut back on this, or I need you to do this for your kids, and you feel like, well, God, I can't do that for them and do this that you want me to do. No, you can, because he He wouldn't have given them both to you right it's the small things we need to repent repent from wanting our own ways and turn back to the things of God turn even in the small issues amen all right you guys let's pray thank you father God for your word thank you for all you've done Lord God we ask you to just bless us as we are seeking after your face Bless us and help us to, to be your servant, be your bride, Lord God. Help us to not do our own will, but do your will, Lord Jesus. Forgive us for all of our sins. Help us to be appreciative of, of this great mercy that you're having on us. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, if you would like to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. And he's gonna do just that, amen. One of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down, read your word, chew on your word, and talk to him. He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, so seek his face today while he may be found. Amen. Go out, find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God. Um, also, uh, go out and be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus as well as go and tell other people about Christ and what he's done for your life. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.